today we will be talking about units of measurement. Now, the units used for scientific measurements are those of the metric system. Some of the common ones we'll be talking about today are length, mass, temperature, volume, and density. So, when we are trying to measure things, we use some metric units that are particular in choice for use in scientific measurements. These are called SI units. Below in the table, we have examples of SI units for every type of measurement. For mass, the base unit is kilogram. For length, the base unit is meter. For time, the base unit is second. For temperature, the base unit is Kelvin. For the amount of substance, the base unit is mole. And some additional quantities are electric current, where the base unit is ampere, and luminous intensity, where the base unit is candela. In the table below, you will see prefixes. We use these prefixes when we want to show greater quantities of our measurements or smaller quantities of our measurements. As you can see in the table, each prefix has an exponent that relates to how it is relatable to the base unit. For example, one kilometer equals one times 10 to the three meters, which means one kilometer equals 1,000 meters, or one centimeter is equal to 0 0.01 meters. This shows how we can use different prefixes to show different quantities. Now we will begin to talk about our SI units starting with length and mass. The base unit of length is meter. As you can see, this is a picture of a meter stick, which of course is the length of one meter. Another thing that is the length of one meter could be a baseball bat. The base unit of mass is kilogram, and mass is the measure of the amount of material in an object. One liter of water is said to weigh one kilogram. The next SI unit we'll be talking about is temperature. The base unit for temperature is Kelvin, but we often use Fahrenheit or Celsius. Temperature is the measure of hotness or coldness of an object. Now, it is often that we convert from Kelvin to Fahrenheit or from Kelvin to Celsius or from Fahrenheit to Celsius. To get from Kelvin to Celsius, you take your temperature in Celsius and you add 273.15. But to get from Celsius to Fahrenheit, you take your Celsius temperature, you multiply it by 9 fifths, and then you add 32. And to get from Fahrenheit to Celsius, you take your Fahrenheit temperature, you subtract 32, and you multiply by 5 ninths. Kelvin is the base unit because Kelvin is said to be the most absolute. Zero degrees on the Kelvin scale is the lowest attainable temperature possible. This is why Kelvin is the base unit. Next, we'll be talking about units that can be derived. The first unit we'll talk about is volume. We can use SI units in order to derive other quantities. Volume is a quantity we can derive from the SI unit of length. Essentially, volume is length cubed. Density is also a quantity that we can derive from the SI units of mass and volume. Density is mass divided by volume. 